October is National Liver Awareness Month. And did you know, four and a half million Americans have been diagnosed with liver disease? And it's a staggering statistic. So this morning, we're going to shine the spotlight on the disease, which is often ignored. Laundry Serrata lives with a more serious complication of the liver disease, cirrhosis, called HE. And she joins us now. Same for Dr. Howard Franklin. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Las Vegas. Thank you so much for having us on the show. Landry, people are aware of liver disease, um, cirrhosis, but they may not be familiar with HE. Tell us how you found out about the problem. Well, I originally figured out a problem because I was feeling just extremely fatigued and um, had a lot of memory loss and just little small things that I would like lose my keys or something like that. And then I started getting um, ascites. So my ankles would get all swollen, my stomach got swollen. So everything in me just felt off so bad and my head was not clear at all and I did not know what was going on. I felt like I was going insane, honestly. Um, so I finally went to the ER and they took me to the hospital and I found out I had stage four cirrhosis and HE and that's pretty much it. So I had to do a lot of research on my own on what HE was. And what were your symptoms? Um, Mostly just the, the chronic fatigue and the fact that I would forget little small things that I always, always knew. Um, I wouldn't remember, you know, like what my house number was. And I've moved from different places, so I would say I'm living in the wrong city. Or I couldn't remember what day I was supposed to go do something. And it was just very, very mind flustering that it was totally not me. And I knew that. I knew something had to be wrong. And then on top of that with the ascites... I mean, my pants weren't fitting me anymore out of, out of nowhere. So it was just like all, uh, it was just all very uncomfortable, unmanageable. We'd love to know how you're doing now. I'm doing great. Thank you. Um, I have found a new treatment protocol that works well for me. And I've been taking it since October and I haven't had one HE moment whatsoever. So I'm doing really, really great. So now I'm do, using this opportunity to use my voice and be the voice for people that aren't quite strong enough to have their voice and be in this position to advocate for HE. And doctor, how do you explain HE? Yeah, so it's called HE or hepatic encephalopathy. Two words, two sort of long, complicated words. Hepatic, that refers to your liver. And encephalopathy, that refers to a disease of the brain. Classically, what happens is patients who have liver disease, typically chronic liver disease, something like cirrhosis, hepatitis, things of that nature, their liver can no longer clear the toxins from the blood. That's its normal job. So what happens is these toxins build up and they affect the brain in a negative way. And sometimes the symptoms are very subtle. Like Landry said, she couldn't remember where she left her keys. That seems like nothing to many patient, to people, but in some people, you forget what time it is, you forget your keys, you get up in the middle of the night, that might be a sign that there may be something wrong with the liver. Doctor, why might HE go undiagnosed in many chronic liver disease patients? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, first of all, it's interesting that Landry's here today because she's sort of the new face of this disease. Historically, it was sort of an old, a disease of older patients, uh, but not so anymore. In recent years, there's been a almost a 30% increase in the incidence of hepatic encephalopathy amongst young women. It oftentimes, go un, un, it oftentimes goes undiagnosed because of what we said earlier. The initial symptoms are rather subtle. It's just a little bit of disorientation. Maybe you couldn't remember your keys. Maybe you just don't remember what the year is all of a sudden. And sometimes people would chalk that up to some neurological disease or just sort of simple, simple aging. That's not the case. So if these signs and symptoms are noticed by patients or their caregivers, they should contact their physicians and ask possibly if this could be related to liver disease. So what questions do you think that patients with liver disease should ask their doctors? They should ask them uh, if their liver needs to be tested in certain ways. And once they are diagnosed, what kind of treatments are available to them? Landry, do you have any advice for people who have cirrhosis and their caregivers as well? Um, my advice is, for one, be extremely patient, even though it's difficult. But on the opposite side of that, be extremely persistent, extremely persistent with your doctors and do a lot of the research on your own for every disease state that you have. And there's nothing wrong with going to your doctor and telling him what you need and what you want. 
a lot of patients are afraid to say something to their doctor. They either feel ashamed or, you know, they don't feel comfortable or they're stepping down on their feet. But always just advocate for yourself as hard as possible. I mean, our lives are already precious having this liver disease. Add in HE and you feel helpless and hopeless until you find a solution. Well, thank you both so much. For more information, visit liverfoundation.org. Salix is a proud sponsor of Las Vegas Morning Blend.